Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and I'm going to jump on the fall DIY bandwagon. So I have four DIYs for you. DIY number one. So we have this uh, cement uh, pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, and this is from last year, and some moss Waverly chalk paint. And we're going to paint this pumpkin from top to bottom, but we're not going to paint the stem. And I'm just going to give it one good coat of the uh, moss paint. So I'm just going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me um, paint this in real time. I like this color moss. So I'm going to use the same three colors throughout my DIYs, which is the moss, some ocean mixed with lagoon, and some plaster. Now we're going to take this cat food can, and you can take a tuna can or whatever can you have, and we're going to take this ribbon, and I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby last year after Christmas. And I'm going to hot glue it towards the top of the can, covering up that lip. And our can is going to be upside down. So I'm going to put two lines of hot glue on there, one at the top and one at the bottom of the ribbon. And then we're going to fold over the end of the ribbon. We're going to hot glue it onto itself. And then we're going to hot glue it onto uh, the previous end of the ribbon. We're going to take some of the Spanish moss that I got from the Dollar Tree and we're going to hot glue it around the top edge, what is now the top edge of our can. And be careful when you're using um, the hot glue. I, you, I'm using a low temperature glue gun. You can burn your fingers through the moss, so just be careful. So once I get my moss on the can, I'm gonna take my pumpkin. I'm gonna put hot glue all along the bottom of it. Nope, I'm sorry. I'm going to take some of this uh, brown acrylic paint and uh, I'm going to go around the indentions on my pumpkin. I've watered it down. I forgot about this part. So I do that before I glue my pumpkin down. So I've watered it down pretty good. going to go around the bottom part of the stem and then I'm just going to take a napkin and I'm going to wipe that so just kind of patting it down Then I'm going to take my fan brush dip it in that brown and I'm going to just go from the stem on down just a little ways on the rest of the pumpkin. So not all the way down, just partially down. And then I'm going to go around the bottom part of it. Just along the bottom edge of the pumpkin.
Once I get that done, I'm just going to use my heat tool and um, dry the paint. And then I'm going to glue my pumpkin onto my can. So as you can see, I've put the hot glue all over the bottom of the pumpkin. Now, part of it, you know, it's going to stick more to the uh, moss than it is the can. So you want to add some more hot glue in between there just to tack it down. And then we're just going to um, tack down our moss so that the top part of that can is not showing. And then we're going to add moss where we need to. And we're just going to trim it up so it doesn't look so scraggly. Now once that's done, we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our second pumpkin. So this is another pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. And I'm just going to paint it with my plaster. I'm not going to paint the stem. And I'm going to give this two coats of the plaster. Uh, uh, chalk paint from Waverly. I'm just going to dry that. And then I'm going to add the second coat. I'm going to dry that and then any spots I've missed, I'm going to add a little bit more paint to that and dry it. Now I'm going to take one of the big sponge daubers and I'm going to put it in that watered down brown acrylic paint and I'm just going to highlight those uh, ridges that are on the pumpkin and I think this turns out so so adorable. I love it. I think it makes it look a little like wood. You know you see those wood pumpkins at Hobby Lobby. I think that's what this looks like. I think it turned out really good. And the reason I haven't been um, posting videos recently is because we've been visiting our families back east and we've been gone for about three weeks. So we just got back this past week. Now we're going to put some hot glue on the top of the uh, moss pumpkin and we're going to add some more of the Spanish moss to that around the stem, well more towards the edge of the pumpkin. Just going to move this out of your way and turn the pumpkin so you can see it a little bit better. I still have problems uh, with my camera being in the right position for you guys to see stuff, so I apologize for that. I'm trying to get better, but I don't know. Hopefully it's not a lost cause. So this white pumpkin that we just did, it does have a hole in the bottom. So I'm just going to put hot glue around the rest of the bottom and put that right onto the other pumpkin and moss. And we're going to give that a trim. He's looking pretty, pretty scraggly. I'm going to trim that sucker up. So again, everything in this uh, video, the supplies I'm using are from last year. But I think that you can get most, most all, most if not all of the supplies this year. So you see how my uh, hot glue just didn't want to stick too well. So we're going to put some more hot glue on there get that to uh, stick down and it works so 
So we're going to work on our third and final um, <clears throat> pumpkin. And this is one of those foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those that are in a pack of the pumpkins that are on the skewers. And I'm going to be using a mixture of the Ocean Waverly chalk paint and the Lagoon chalk paint. Now I will be using a mixture of these throughout this video. So I just mix it up. There's no uh, set ratio or whatever. I just, you know, put the two colors together until I get the color that I'm looking for. So again, that's the Lagoon and the Ocean Waverly chalk paint mixed together. I'm just going to paint my pumpkin. Sped that up so you didn't have to uh, watch it in real time. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it. And I have to say when I did this, it kind of put some texture on my pumpkin and I liked it. So one of those little happy accidents as um, the guy that did the paintings, Ross, used to say happy accidents but yeah i liked it so it did it put bumps on it so i'm just highlighting it with a little bit of that watered down brown paint and again i'm going to use my um oh now i'm going to wipe it with a napkin And now I have one of these wooden angels with the foam wings that I got in a package from the Dollar Tree last year. And I'm just going to use that watered down brown and we're going to paint that up. And that's going to be our stem. And actually, I like the way it turned out. So I'm going to put some hot glue on the top of this white pumpkin or the plaster pumpkin and we're going to put some more of the uh, Spanish moss on top of it before we stack our blue pumpkin on it. And in order to get the hole in the pumpkin, I just um, pushed it onto the stem of the previous pumpkin and punctured it. And then to uh, get the hole in the top part, I just did the same thing with that uh, angel head. So isn't that a cute um, stem for the pumpkin? I love it. And now I'm just going to put some hot glue on the inside of the hole there of my blue pumpkin and a little bit on the outside. And I'm just going to stack that on top of my previous pumpkin. Figuring out where I want to place it. And now we're going to put some hot glue around the top of the blue pumpkin. And again, we're going to add some more of that Spanish moss. We're using it and I believe all of these DIYs and it is messy. I like it, I like the look of it, but it is messy. But I guess that's the price you have to pay. Now I'm just gonna take some of this Pitberry um, garland that I got from Dollar Tree and I had some green and white, so I was just trying to decide if I wanted the red and orange or the green and white. I decided on the red and orange. So I'm just going to wrap it around the end of one of my brushes to make a tendril, curly cue, um, corkscrew, 
I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And these actually are put together in pieces. So I just an unwrapped this particular piece and I put it around the top of the stem of the blue pumpkin. And then I'm just taking the end and wrapping it around the paintbrush uh, part and making another tendril on the other side. And now I see that my blue pumpkin isn't as stable as I want it to be, so I added a little bit more hot glue to it. I think it turned out really cute. I love it. What do you guys think? So that's it for DIY number one. How cute is that? Now on to DIY number two. So I have this slatted pumpkin and I uh, got these from Dollar Tree again last year. And what I did was I ordered a case of them. So you get a leaf, an acorn, and the pumpkin in the slats. So I have quite a few of these and I'm just trying to use some of them. So I have this uh, brown apple barrel paint and I'm not exactly sure the color. I think it's nutmeg. So I'm just going to do those slats that you see the um, pieces that are on the back. I'm just going to do the uh, parts that are showing on the upside. I'm just going to paint those with that brown paint. And then I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting with my brush with the brown paint. I mean, this is totally not necessary. I should have waited and just did it later. Uh, you really can't see it, so don't worry about that part. And now I'm taking my plaster, and I'm going to paint that middle section. But first off, I'm going to take the um, brown again, and I'm going to paint the stem. Once again, once I get that completed, I take my plaster and I paint that middle slat. Got a little bit of plaster on one of the other slats, but that's okay. That'll be covered up when uh, we paint the next slats. So I'm just going to take my moss and I'm going to paint the slats that are on either side of that middle slat. Once I, get, once I get that done, I'm going to take the mixture of the ocean and the lagoon, and I'm going to do the last two slats. I like the color this turned into. What I should have done for these DIYs was mixed up some of this and, in a container and then uh, kept it for each of the DIYs, but I wasn't smart enough to do that. Now, again, I'm taking my nutmeg brown and I'm just putting some highlights on my pumpkin here. This was what I was talking about earlier, just doing it after you paint them, not before. And now I'm going to take it and go around the edges. And I'm just using a chippy brush. Very old chip brush. Still works though. I ain't throwing it out.
Okay, now I have these mushroom, wooden mushrooms from the Dollar Tree. And again, these are ones that I ordered online. So you have a bag of mushrooms, a bag of apples, a bag of, uh, what were the other things? Mushrooms, apples acorns and I have a ton of those so I need to use some so I painted uh, one in each color one in the plaster one in the mixture of the um, lagoon and um, ocean and then one in the green and I just put a little bit of plaster on the stem. I got a little bit too much, so I'm going over it a little bit with the brown. And now I have this word. Again, I got these from Dollar Tree last year. Ordered them online, and I'm just using a dabber with a blue paint mixture, and it says, Hello, Autumn. I have a ton of stuff that I need to use. Last year, I went crazy ordering online from the Dollar Tree and you know you gotta buy in bulk it's just craziness how much stuff I have but just trying to use some of it I'll be using it for years and years and years and years that's how much I have and now I'm going to paint the stems of my mushrooms with the brown acrylic paint I just love these little mushrooms. They turned out so cute. Now I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm just going to go over my pumpkin. Rough it up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm putting some hot glue on the bottom and we're going to add some Spanish moss to it. I'm just doing a couple slats at a time. Kind of doing swirlies with my glue. getting my hand stuck in it. Before I went on vacation, man, I burnt my finger good with the hot glue. And it was my fault completely. But man, whoo, did that sucker hurt. I probably gave myself a pretty bad burn. But it's all healed up now, it's good. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on the stems of my mushrooms. And I decided to put the uh, green topped one on the white board, the blue topped one on the green board, and the white topped one on the green board. I think this, these turned out so cute. And I like doing a series with um, all the DIYs in the same colors and then grouping them together. I think that turns out so good. I liked it and I enjoyed making these. I hope you enjoy it too. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And uh, please feel free to share this video with your family and your friends or anybody that you think might enjoy it. Now, I'm trying to make this bow, and I know I probably don't do it exactly right, but uh, D Heart, she does these, and I try it. This is my second attempt, actually, at making this one. So you just wrap it around your thumb and your forefinger. And if your um, ribbon is one-sided, you have to twist it. 
and you know that's not the problem for me the problem is when I go to end it I'm never quite sure how I'm supposed to do that I watch her and I'm like oh yeah I got this I can do it but then when I go to do it it just it doesn't work but anyway I make it work if I have to wrap it more than once in the to to get it tied that's what I do so I know she doesn't have to do that but I don't know she makes it look so easy and then see here I'm struggling the struggle is real it's real but I make it work somehow I'm confused but I tell you when I watch her um she just makes it look so easy and it's d heart on um she's so crafty she has some of the greatest uh, diys so this ribbon is wired and i'm just fluffing it out taking i did four um loops on each side So I'm not the greatest bow maker. I'm sure as you'll watch me, you'll see that I struggle with my bows. But hey, it is what it is. Practice makes perfect, right? Are you a good bow maker? If you are, let me know in the comments. So I'm just dovetailing the ends of my ribbon. Still messing with the bow. And now I'm picking up my pick, Pip Berry Garland and we are going to make some tendrils for the top of this pumpkin. So I just uh, curl one edge, one end of it, take the center wrap it around the stem add some hot glue and then uh, wrap the other side so for this side I start at the bottom closest to the stem and I wrap it as much as I want and then I cut off the extra And then I want to cover up those holes on the back. So I'm going to uh, glue down a pip berry on top of the hole on either side. You just want to hold that until the glue sets up. So once that sets up, then um, showing you what it looks like so far is cute. But then I want to add my bow to it. And here I am fluffing it up. You're going to see me do that quite a bit. And then I'm just going to add it to the stem of my pumpkin. And then I want to um, add a little bit of glue to the ends of my ribbon because I want to puff it up a little bit there. You see me pulling that up a bit. And I want to do that to both sides. 
I'm going to make sure it doesn't cover up my words. I think it turned out cute. Here I am again fluffing this bow. Seems like you can't fluff them enough. So now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to add a piece of jute to the back side of it. And I'm just going to put it right there on the stem. Towards the bottom of the stem. I'm going to put quite a bit of hot glue there. Put both ends of my jute in there. And then um, where I cut off the ribbon when I was doing the dovetail, I'm going to glue a piece of that over top of my jute and then there's a little piece of it that kind of hangs over to the front and I'm going to trim that up so you don't see it so this is it for DIY number two love it Now on to DIY number three. So for this one, I have one of those crates from the Dollar Tree. You can get these anytime. It's one of their staple products. And I have my moss green uh, chalk paint from Waverly. I am going to paint the center slat on both sides of this crate. Now I sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch me uh, paint in real time. Now I have this bag of acorns. It's what I couldn't think of before. So I'm going to paint the bottom portion of these acorns. So I'm taking the moss paint and I'm going to paint three of them in it. And now I'm going to take my plaster paint and I'm going to paint the rest of the crate in the plaster. And that's all outside portions, all inside portions, the whole rest of it. Everything except for the green slat on either side. And now I have um, two more of the acorns and I'm going to paint them in the plaster, just the bottom portion. And now you can see me mixing the ocean and the lagoon together again. Again, if you're going to do this and use the same color um, mixture that you're making, just make a little batch of it and keep it in a little container with a lid. <clears throat> and that way you don't have to keep mixing it for each craft that you're doing. If you know you're going to do several of them. So I'm going to paint three of the uh, acorns in the blue. And then I have my welcome fall sign. I'm going to take my dauber again. That's one of the big ones. And I'm going to use the blue to paint it again these are those words that came in the packages that I have a ton of I think there's like six six different words in one package 
and I had to buy like 36 of them so when I say I have a ton of them I have a ton of them and there it is welcome fall now I'm going to take the brown which I believe is a nutmeg from apple barrel and I'm going to paint the tops of all of these acorns and there's six acorns no three six eight eight acorns so I'm going to do that to all eight of them now I'm taking my sanding block and I'm just going to sand down all the edges of the crate and I'm going to take that um, pointy portion of the sand block and go in between the slats now these uh, sanding blocks I got from tractor supply and you get a package I think of 10 of them for five dollars so they're even cheaper than you can get at the Dollar Tree so I have my welcome fall and I hot glued that onto the front of my crate and now I have this uh, packing foam and I'm just going to break a piece of it off and then I'm going to cut it down to fit the inside of my crate. Now, if you ever get uh, packing foam, don't throw it out. Keep it for your crafting. You can use it instead of floral foam. That way you don't have to buy any. So I cut a piece off to fit the inside and now I'm going to cut another piece off because I want it to be um, lifted up. I want my acorns to be towards the top because if I put them down in there like that you wouldn't be able to see them very well. And I'm not gluing it down or anything. I'm just setting it down inside. So once I have that on there, then I'm going to take my hot glue, put it all over the foam, and then I'm going to add my Spanish moss to it, the top. Just going to situate it where I want it in my box. And then I'm going to start adding my acorns. And I'm just going to uh, glue the uh, bottom part, well the side part of the acorn to the Spanish moss. So I'm not gluing the top or anything. I'm just going to arrange them in my crate however I like it. You can do however you like it. You do you boo, I'll do me boo. will do us boo so I'm trying to make it so they don't all um, they all aren't facing the same direction So again, I have three green, three blue, and two of the white ones. Now I'm just going to take a piece of the Pipberry Garland, and I'm going to add that to the top around the acorns, and I'm just going to do a corkscrew, spread it way out, and then just kind of put it in between the acorns. I'm going to add a dot of hot glue in the center of the garland to attach it. Oh, and one of the pip berries fell off, so I'm gluing it back on. So that's it for our third DIY. I think it turned out cute. 
and I like the way everything is in the same colors so there it is you see the top and then you see the front of it and there's our third DIY so on to DIY number four so I have several of these wooden trucks with the pumpkins in them I didn't buy those online but I did go a little crazy buying them at the Dollar Tree because I'm like you know if you don't buy the stuff now and then you go back it's gone and then you, not, you then you can't get it at all so anyway I'm just taking my pen and I'm marking where the tires should be and I think in hindsight I probably should have used my paint pens for the tire and the um, hubcaps or wheels or whatever they are instead of the paint and the paintbrush but I use the paint and the paintbrush instead but if you do it and you have paint markers I suggest using those so I'm just making the tires black And maybe I should have put the white paint on around there first and then done the black. It probably would have been better. But I didn't think about that either. So anyway, I got the, the black paint around for the tires. And then I'm just going to take some silver deco art paint for the rims. Got a little bit of that black paint on there, but that's okay. And I'm not the best painter, trust me on that one. But I do the best I can. And then I do paint the um, the end and the f the front part the bumpers the front and back bumpers and the silver and now I'm just going to take my plaster paint and I'm going to paint the truck so I do the front part of the truck as you can see I messed up the tire so I have to go back with my black paint and fix that and that's what I say. I should have probably painted the truck white first and then done the tires last. Now I'm painting the back part of the truck. Again, I get it on the tires. So I have to fix that. I mean, in the end, it turns out pretty good. I can't complain. And now I take my small brush and I get that plaster in between the slats where the pumpkins are. And I'm just touching up some spaces where the white might not be as thick as it should be. And I'm going to take uh, my brown and I'm going to paint the bed of the truck, which would be the slats, the wood slats. And then I paint the stems of the pumpkins in the brown. Taking my moss paint and I'm painting the larger pumpkin with it.
putting a little brown in between there. Now I have the mixture of my two blues and I'm going to paint the smaller pumpkin. have my uh, brown paint and I'm just going to highlight these pumpkins just going to give them a little bit of dimension with the brown not too much just a little bit There it is, cute. Now I'm going to take my fan brush and the silver paint and I'm going to go over all the white that's on the truck. So I'm just highlighting the white on the truck with the silver. Do you all have a lot of uh, Dollar Tree items from last year that you need to use up? Well, these four DIYs are some good DIYs for you to use up your stash. going to hit the hood of the truck a little bit more and now we're going to make some pit berry stems for our pumpkins just going to fold it and then wrap it a couple times and then have that little piece stick out I'm just going to hot glue those onto the stems of the pumpkins. So I'm going to add a little bit of the Spanish moss right onto uh, or underneath the stem of the pumpkins. So do that for each one of them. Just kind of swirl the um, Spanish moss in my fingers. A little bit just to make it a little more dense Now I'm going to add a larger piece of the Spanish moss underneath the pumpkins. And I'm just going to roll it in my hands, making it denser, and then adding it underneath the pumpkins.
give it a little trim there it is isn't that cute now I'm going to take these uh, cubes from the Dollar Tree we're just going to use two of them and I'm going to put them on the backs of the tires because I want my, my truck to stand up so I'm just going to add some hot glue and you don't want to put them right down at the very bottom because it'll fall over as you can see here in a second you want to put them up just a tiny bit so that it's not going to lean forward see how it wants to fall forward so I'm just going to move those up just the tiniest bit there we go it's working so there's our DIY number four love it love the truck now for the final reveal here's all four of our projects for today and if you don't know I'm Liz from Liz's crafts and if you haven't already subscribed or liked my channel please feel free to do so I would appreciate